Hi friends, I am Sandeep and today we will learn how to register PMAYG beneficiaries using registration module of Avasoft. So let's get started. First you have to log on to PMAYG website that is www.pmayg.nic.in. Then click on data entry tab from the home page. You have to log in for MIS data entry. Two login options will be displayed. Login using existing server and login using new server. Existing server is used when the internet connectivity in your area is good. Sometimes due to overload on PMAYG website or low internet speed, website may not work properly. In such circumstances, one should log in using new server. New server is used to undertake four critical activities that are PMAYG registration, verification of images captured by mobile app, downloading individual sanction order letter and generating order sheet for FTU. For the purpose of explaining the process of beneficiary registration in detail, we will log in using existing server. First, select financial year. As you all know, PMAYG was launched in 2016. Therefore, year from 2016-17 onwards will be used for PMAYG registration. If someone wants to do a backlog entry of previous scheme, that can also be done by selecting that particular year. After selecting financial year, enter your login credentials and click on login. Data entry page will open. PMAYG registration can be done both at Gram Panchayat level and block level. But since Gram Panchayats not always have an adequate technical infrastructure, we will show you PMAYG beneficiaries registration at block level. On data entry page, click on PMAYG registration under head data entry at Gram Panchayat. Registration for PMAYG page will open up. On top of the page, you can see state, district, block as well as total beneficiaries registered from the block. Before filling the form, please note that all fields marked with asterisks are compulsory. That is, registration cannot complete without filling them. Under Personal Details section of the page, select the Panchayat and then select Social Category. As you all know, under PMAYG, selection of beneficiaries is based on SECC data 2011 and category-wise priority list is prepared from that data. Hence, on selection of social category, name of head of the household with top priority will be displayed automatically as per the priority list. Sometimes, due to some problem in SECC database, name does not display. In such case, registration will not happen till the problem is solved. Wait for some time or contact your nodal officer and repeat the registration process. Here, as you can see, 3 is mentioned after name and registration number of head of the family, which means his rank is number 3 in the priority list under category selected. Suppose Rajesh Kumar has migrated or died or for some other reason, he is no more eligible for registration. In that case, there is an option for searching and selecting other person for registration out of the priority list. Click on search on right hand side of the page and select the name from the priority list. If minority is selected in the social category, religion of the selected person will be displayed automatically. Now, from the family member list, you have to select the beneficiary. Name of family members of selected household will be displayed with their age mentioned at the end of each name. Under PMAYG, ownership of the house should preferably be on the name of elder women of the house. After selecting beneficiary from the list, select scheme, select gender. You can select from male, female or transgender. Select ownership type. It is always preferable to give ownership title on woman's name. But in rare cases, joint ownership can also be selected. Although, beneficiary title will remain on woman's name. If you choose woman widow in ownership type, then you should select one out of four options displayed in Kin 2 tab. Select whether the beneficiary has any disability. If yes, then you should select type of disability and fill in percentage of disability. Enter mobile number and select mobile ownership type. 
If the mobile number entered belongs to the beneficiary, make sure the number is unique. That is, it is not used for PMAYG registration before. Else, system will not accept the form. It is always advisable to enter mobile number of the beneficiary if he or she has an active mobile connection as beneficiary will get regular updates in local language at different stages like at the time of PMAYG registration, allotment, release of installments, etc. If beneficiary does not have a mobile connection, then mobile number of relative, sarpanch or any other person may be entered. In such cases, mobile number can be used multiple times by selecting others from the owner type and mentioning relationship with the beneficiary. Next, enter Aadhaar number of the beneficiary and name mentioned in the Aadhaar card. Currently, it is not mandatory to enter Aadhaar number but it is always advisable to enter Aadhaar details. If you choose to enter Aadhaar number of the beneficiary, make sure to upload consent form. As before using anybody's Aadhaar number, government needs consent from the person. Therefore, if the beneficiary is willing to give the consent, then only Aadhaar details should be entered. If the beneficiary is suffering from leprosy, cancer or HIV AIDS, it should be selected. This completes personal details section of the page. Next, you have to enter bank details of the beneficiary. First, select bank type. Select from commercial bank, cooperative bank or regional rural bank. If the beneficiary does not have a bank account but have an account in post office, select post office from above. If beneficiary has account in cooperative bank, make sure the bank has an IFSC code. If not, that bank cannot be considered for registration as payments under PMAYG are transferred electronically. Once you choose bank type, all the banks registered with RBI in the state will get displayed in select bank name head. Select bank branch from the list. If the bank or branch is not appearing on the list, contact your state nodal officer to add it in the list. After selecting branch, enter bank account number and name of the beneficiary as per bank passbook. Sometimes name of the beneficiary provided in SECC data differ from name provided in bank. Therefore, you should enter the name provided in bank passbook here as all the bank details will go to the respective bank for verification after submitting the form. Select whether the beneficiary is interested in availing loan facility. If yes, enter the amount of loan required. Under PMAYG, loan of up to rupees 70,000 can be availed. After entering bank details, you have to enter MG Narega job card number of the household in the required field, which also comes with real-time verification feature. If the job card number entered is wrong, in real-time, system will say it is incorrect. And when the job card number is entered in correct pattern, then in real-time, request will be sent to MG Narega database to verify whether the job card number is valid and it belongs to the same household or not. Sometimes, due to some problem in MG Narega database, verification does not happen in real time. In such case scenario, registration will not happen till the problem is solved. Wait for some time or contact your nodal officer and repeat the registration process after some time. It is mandatory to provide MG Narega job card number as under PMAYG household gets 90 or 95 days of work under MG Narega for constructing their house. Select whether beneficiary wants to get enrolled in mason training and whether beneficiary wants to use house design typologies developed for the region. By default, yes is selected. After filling the form completely, click on submit to submit the form. Once the form is submitted, PMAYG ID of the beneficiary will get displayed on the screen and message about registration in local language will be sent to mobile number provided in the form. Personal details will get saved in the database and bank details will go to the bank for verification. While filling up the form, there is a possibility that you might have made a mistake. Therefore, a feature of rectification is provided in Avasoft. For rectifying the form, go to Data Entry page and select PMAYG Edit Registration. Select the beneficiary for rectification and re-enter the data that needs to be rectified. Only personal details and convergence details can be edited from this function. And once the house is sanctioned, the details cannot be edited. 
After successful registration, progress as regard to house sanctioned, release of financial installment etc. can also be tracked. For that, go to Stakeholders tab and click on Beneficiaries. Enter PMAYG registration ID to track the status. Login ID or password is not required to access this function. Now let's recollect some important points that you need to remember while filling the registration form. In the registration form, all fields marked with asterisk are mandatory. That is, registration cannot complete without filling them. Always try to give ownership title in woman's name. In rare cases, joint ownership can also be selected. Always try to enter mobile number of the beneficiary as he or she will get updates in regional language regarding registration, allotment and release of installments. The mobile number entered should be unique in such case. If you enter Aadhaar details of the beneficiary, always upload consent form. If cooperative bank is selected, it should have an IFSC code. Under bank details section, always enter beneficiary name mentioned in bank passbook. In this video, we have learned the registration process of PMAYG beneficiaries, how to rectify the registration form and track the progress. Stay tuned to learn other features of Avasoft. Goodbye.